and be happy always. Once again, welcome to the class of economics in Shruti's Academy, where we discuss various topics with very simple tips and easy keywords. So, the today's topic is gross investment, net investment, and depreciation. First of all, what is gross investment? Gross means total. And so, in your economy, whatever capital goods are produced in one year, that is your gross investment. So, the total production of capital goods in one year in any economy is known as gross investment. For example, if in your economy you produce 20,000, that is 20K, 20,000 machines in one year, that is your gross investment. Okay, then gross investment comprises of two components, that is GI, that is for gross investment. And then it comprises of net investment and depreciation. Then we will discuss what is net and what is in uh, depreciation. Gross investment that is GI is equal to net investment that is your NI and plus depreciation. I am writing DEP for depreciation. So these are two components of gross investment. Now out of this total number of capital goods. Some will be used to add to the existing capital stock and some to replace. So there are two functions of gross investment that is add and replace. Right. This is add and this is replace. How? We have already discussed in our video pertaining to related to capital goods and consumption goods. What is the function of capital goods? That is add and replace. Add to what? Suppose we are having two machines in our uh, farm or factory. So to expand our production or to increase our production, we need two more machines. Then that is addition. Two plus two. We already have two machines and we are buying two new machines. This is known as addition. So this is net investment. Or we can say net investment is addition, net addition to the existing stock of capital in one year. That is net investment. Now depreciation. What is depreciation? Depreciation. That means depreciate or worn out. When machines become old after long term use, when we use our machines for 10, 15 or 20 years, they become old or unusable. So we have to discard them or throw them away or so because they can be used. So what we have to do? We have to buy new machines in place of those old or depreciated machines. So we were have, if we were having two machines and they have become old or depreciated or they can't produce anything. So what we will do? We will give these machines away for uh, depreciation uh, uh, accounts and then what we will do? We will buy new machines two new machines in place of these old machines. So two new machines we have purchased. This is known as replacement. That is what is depreciation? Depreciation is replacement for the existing capital stock. That is buying new machines for the old one or buying new capital goods for the old capital goods. So the formula for this is gross investment is equal to net investment plus depreciation and we can calculate net investment how? So, net investment is equal to gross investment minus depreciation. GI minus depreciation. So, this is formula for calculating your net investment. So, some of the machines from your 20,000 machines that was your gross investment. From these 20,000 machines, 10,000 we are using for Net investment that is addition to capital stock and 10,000 we are using for replacement for existing capital stock. So this is your gross investment, net investment and depreciation. I hope you have understood. Gross investment is called net investment and depreciation. Then we move on to depreciation. What is depreciation? Depreciation is simply all bad happening to your machines. Okay, all bad. You can remember this thing. Depreciation is all bad happening to your machines or capital stock. Capital goods. How? Okay. Number one. 
depreciation is known as consumption of fixed capital that means when we use our capital goods year after year or for 10 or 15 or 20 years after that they become unusable or worn out due to what due to normal wear and tear normal wear and tear that means after long term use of these machines they become old or unusable this is normal wear and tear okay next cause of this depreciation is accidental damages if machine breaks down owing to some reason or it becomes unusable due to some accident and it can't be repaired and used so that is accidental damage so depreciation occurs due to normal wear and tear and next is depreciation accidental damages sorry and third is expected obsolescence what is obsolescence obsolescence has come from the word obsolete right obsolete obsolete that means outdated outdated that is no longer in demand outdated and why the thing becomes outdated going to two, two reasons that is change in technology obsolescence that is expected obsolescence occurs due to two reasons that is change in technology and due to change in demand or you can say change or shift in demand change in demand we can take some examples right Previously, we used to have black and white televisions at our homes. Now, we use color televisions. So, the capital goods or machines which made or manufactured your black and white televisions have become obsolete. This is change in technology, right? So, the machines which were manufacturing those type of televisions have become outdated. So, this is one reason of expected obsolescence next is your change in demand nowadays we use high end leather shoes and branded shoes so the machines which used to produce rubber shoes have become outdated or obsolete because nowadays people use leather shoes or high end good shoes okay so two reasons are change in technology and change in demand this is expected obsolescence okay then we have depreciation reserve fund what is that this is simply the fund managed by businessmen all businessmen manage this fund why for replacement investment or for managing their depreciation see they buy machines to produce right but after long term use or because of normal wear and tear, accidental damages and expected obsolescence, these machines become old or outdated or they can't be used. So what do they do? When they buy new machines, they know they will become old after 10 or 20 years of use. Okay, we can take one example to explain this. Right. If we have a machine, say, we have a machine and its life is... 10 years right that is it will work nicely for 10 years only and its cost is 20 lakh rupees right so what depreciation reserve fund the annual installment for depreciation reserve fund can be calculated as installment for depreciation can be calculated as 20 lakh rupees divided by 10 so this will be your 2 lakh rupees right 2 lakh rupees so what will happen here that businessman with, with uh, who has bought this machine that will work for 10 years will devote or will deposit 2 lakh rupees every year for depreciation reserve fund so depreciation reserve fund helps businessmen to manage their depreciation or replacement of their fixed capital every businessman has to manage this depreciation reserve fund to manage their replacement investment right so this is to manage replacement investment and to buy new machines in place of old machines then we have unexpected obsolescence what is that unexpected that means 
which people do not expect. See, there is basic difference between expected and unexpected. Expected, people expect this to happen in long run. They know technology will change or demand will change. But in unexpected observations, people do not know what is going to happen in next moment. So that's why it is known as expected obsolescence, which do not, do not want to happen or do not expect to happen. Okay, expected. For example, if there is flood, this is there is fire, or there is recession. These are two reasons. Flood and fire, they are natural calamities. Natural calamities. Right? And recession is your, you can say depression or recession that is lack of demand in market. Okay. When there is natural calamity like flood or fire, everything gets destroyed. So there is loss, capital loss. This is known as capital loss. And again, there is recession. If there is recession, there will be lack of demand. So there won't be any requirement for capital goods and they will stand still and there will be no production. So this is unexpected obsolescence. Our machines may stand still and do not produce. So expected and ex unexpected we have understood. Now, what to see over here? How to manage them? See, expected obsolescence. This can be managed through your depreciation reserve fund this can be managed through depreciation reserve fund because they know and they can uh, put some fixed installment towards this fund but which is unexpected the thing which is unexpected they can't do anything regarding that that's why it is managed through insurance insurance cover of your capital good insurance right cover okay Depreciation is known as consumption of fixed capital and unexpected obsolescence is known as capital loss. So hopefully you have understood this topic now. So what is gross investment? That is total production of capital goods in uh, one year economy in one accounting year. Total production of capital goods in one year in economy. What is net investment? It is net addition to the existing capital stock of capital goods. Okay, what is depreciation? It is replacement of existing capital stock. Depreciation happens because of normal wear and tear, accidental damages and expected obsolescence. Depreciation reserve fund. What is that? It is fund managed by business, business, businessman to manage their replacement investment. For replacement investment, it is managed. Then, how to calculate it? It is the cost of machine divided by the number of years it will function. And unexpected obsolescence that is unexpected. Businessmen do not expect this to happen and there are two reasons like natural calamities and recession for unexpected obsolescence, right? Hopefully you have understood this topic thoroughly and if you have any problem then you can just send a query and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for future updates. Thank you so much.